Well, what do we say? What do we say? Well, new one from Morgan here. Uh, I guess the news in this one is that she uh, attempted to or looked into renting an apartment uh, somewhere in Tennessee. Okay, we, we, we thought when she did the video last week where she was at this beautiful Airbnb cabin somewhere up in the mountains. We thought it was Tennessee, East Tennessee. Anyway, she said she wanted to rent an apartment in East Tennessee and they were really, it's, it was very expensive, let's just say that. It was way beyond what she thought this apartment was worth. And she said the heat is getting to her because it is summer and it is humid, even in Tennessee. Tennessee is very humid and there are thunderstorms and stuff like that. It's the way Tennessee is. That's the way, you know, a good part of the East Coast is. You can go to you can go to Massachusetts, you can go to Minnesota, you can go to Michigan. Michigan and every every state is hot, humid, sticky, more or less. I mean, they may have a little cool patch. But anyway, she she gets into a very uh, very upset because she does not want to uh rent anymore. She does not want to have a place that, you know, is not hers and uh, you know get attached to it she said she's done that before she gets attached to something it's rented and then it gets pulled out from under her so stuff like that so she is uh, having a uh, I guess she I think she told she said it was a meltdown in this video she does do a little preamble at the beginning saying here comes my meltdown uh, so it makes it look like she's doing okay at the moment when we see the preamble here and then we get to see this for uh, most of the four and a half. Or, well, how long is this five-ish minute video? Something like that. Uh, so anyway, she's Cheeto. Again, you know, people, you know, a lot of you guys figure this stuff out. You know, renting versus owning. And then you've got, to, okay, now how do I get the money to rent, to pay the rent or to pay the mortgage? Uh, you know, it just doesn't fall off the trees, does it? you got to figure out some way to get that money. Most people choose the legal route and get a job somewhere, I don't know, you know. I mean, yeah, YouTube is an option. I mean, she, you know, has mentioned how much money she's made on YouTube in the past or at least on various um, online services. I mean, what did she say? She made 100K doing a shower video on somewhere else. I forget where it was, but. So she does, you know, make some money on, uh, according to Social Blade, you know, up to 4K a month. 4K a month on YouTube could get you a nice place. Now, the thing is, with with this kind of uh, self-employment income, which is what YouTube is, you're a contract worker, you're not actually working for YouTube, a lot of apartment complexes won't you know, they see you as a bad or not a good risk. It's harder to get an apartment when you don't have that W-2 from a private employer. So, I don't know, you know, an employer, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, she's having a difficulty rate, getting a good rate on an apartment, whatever, uh, in a place. So she said the apartment she wanted was right across from a dog park. So, uh, mm. but which she said, you know, but, you know, it was somewhere in Tennessee. She didn't say where in Tennessee specifically. Uh, ooh, dippers. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I again, you know, <laughs> I'm like... You know, everybody, everybody, do you have a friend like that? You have a friend like that that just comes to you with problem after problem after problem after problem, and then you make some suggestions. Well, you could do this, you get a job, you could do this, you could settle down, you could whatever, sell this, buy this, cash this in, you know, and, and then they kind of don't take your advice and just keep going on and complaining and complaining. I don't know. Uh, Morgan has, you know, many channels have now been giving Morgan advice and I, you know, I can't say that I see her taking too much of that advice that the dear, wonderful viewers of this channel and other channels have been giving her. Uh, and again, that wouldn't be dramatic, would it? If she's just, what if she just said, I'm, I'm renting an apartment, I'm settling down. You know, again, an apartment rental doesn't have to be a full-time thing. I mean, you can do it for a year. Just say, I'm going to rent an apartment for a year until I get my S together, and then I'll go maybe buy something or whatever. I mean, she's a smart lady. Morgan is a very, very smart woman. 
She built a business there in uh, in California, and of course, you know, the T A X E S man got the tax man got to her, and I don't know. She made a few errors there, I guess. Uh, but she you know she's scrapping and surviving. She's she's built a heck of a YouTube channel here. I mean, she could you know, and and you know, uh, we hear she's on other platforms and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know, man. What else can you say? Just uh, another video there. I hope again. We hope all the best for Morgan. You know, she's a nice person. She's got a kind soul. I think you know. I see these with women. You know, on the surface they're kind of all over the place, and some guys too. On the surface they're kind of all over the place, but you can tell there's a, there's a kind, wise soul there down below the storm clouds and. Uh, all our best to Morgan. I don't know, man. One, vid one video, it sounds like she's doing pretty good. And then another video, she sounds like she's kind of melting down. And this one, kind of a little of both. So uh, uh, hopefully, um, well, to figure things out. I hope so. Anyway, if you watch the first, uh, oh, blah, 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 how long is this? 40 some seconds. Uh, you know, she makes it sound like this meltdown is over. It's done with. And she's kind of figured things out. And she's much better now. And... Uh, you know, I don't know. So, so <laughs> that's that's the impression we get, anyway. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But by, by the time you watch this video, she may have two or three more videos up today, telling us uh, more updates about what's going on. So, ups and downs, roller coaster life for good old Morgan there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got an interesting one here from Lola there, the friend uh, who is uh, taking an inner tube down on a river there near Fort Worth Zoo. Uh, and uh, and uh, there's a, there's a, one of those little spillway dam things there going on, and uh, there's some uh, rough water at the bottom of the uh, spillway there. You know, what is it? One of those little... Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really a dam. It's a weir. What do they call those things? What do you call that? Is that a... What is that? What is that? That's a... It's like a dam, but the water goes over the top. There was a, a situation about a month ago here in North Carolina where a whole party of people, including some little kids, were going down a river there on the other, in central North Carolina up there near Virginia, and they went over this eight-foot thing like this, and a number of them actually drowned in the water there. I don't think... I don't know. They say you got to be really super careful when you're inner tubing, when you're tubing, and you uh, hit those uh, things. And uh, anyway... We didn't have that issue here. Everybody was safe and all that, but we do have a video here about uh, Lost on Land Lola and uh, some of the water sport fun things you can do in the summertime. <laughs> Jess, I think that's her name, right? She uh, she does, does walk around it and puts it in down here, so she's very safe and very smart for doing that. Lola's going to have the Lola Palooza there, and don't forget, it's going to be in October there at the uh, Abilene, one of the Abilene, Texas. Check out her videos there. You can get some info. Lost on land again, Lola. And she is um, Lola, <laughs> Lola, Lola. Uh, and uh, Camo Dave might be having a, uh, a uh, breakfast there. We're having a big breakfast there. Maybe Papa Texas. We'll see. We'll see. It's all in the planning stages and we'll... Uh, figure things out one of these days so if you'd like to uh, get some more information on Lollapalooza it happens every year and it is right here uh, on her uh, list of videos there yeah so check it out yeah we, you know everybody dreams about having that viral video right everybody dreams about it you know YouTube you know you go along you get you do videos with you know a couple hundred views and then all of a sudden you get a viral one, and you, and it's it's like a mystery. Why did YouTube give me a viral video? What happened to that video? Anyway, look at this, Clearski the Creeper, uh, two hundred thirty-two thousand views for Luca McDonald's Happy Meal toy and review uh, from uh, three weeks ago. Wow, two hundred. That's not two hundred thirty-two views. That's two hundred and thirty-two. Th um, no, thousand views. So uh, congratulations to Mr. Creeper. It's a, I hope his channel's monetized, and if it is, he's going to make a couple of extra bucks when he gets his uh, June payment on the 21st of July. So uh, maybe he can uh, buy a few plane tickets with that and uh, expand his horizons. I don't know, man. 
Creepa! Yeah, look at those, uh, look at those cool stickers. I wonder who that guy is, and there's Tanky Boo. Uh, we had a nice one from Mark the other day. Uh, excuse me, uh, Ke uh, Creeper. Clearski the Creeper, meeting up with Mark Fun Jones, another uh, bottom of YouTube legend there from Tennessee. Mark uh, came up to Portland and uh, was hanging out there with the Creeper. And uh, and there's Mark there with sporting his uh, grizzled beard. Anyway, they're both heavily into uh, skateboarding and they check out a big skateboardy kind of thing over there in the Portland area. But uh, So anyway, nice to see Mark and Creeper together. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, there's and there's his picture. There's his drawing of the Creeper. You know, Mark uh, did these uh, drawings, I mean, uh, paintings for me. Uh, Tanky Poo, uh, Pilgrim Dave, and Serious I Do Know Man Dave. So anyway, yeah, real. Okay, cool, cool. This one didn't quite go viral, though. I don't know. I don't know why. This should, that one should have gotten a million views. And we get a new one here from Butterfly Gypsy. She uh, escaped smoky Arizona there uh, and all that stuff. She's been hanging out in Arizona with a lot of the tribe people for quite a while. It's hot, smoky, and she is now in Denver with some friends, and she's been doing a bunch of upgrades on her vehicle, uh, including solar and stuff like that. She looks happy and uh, looks like everything's going well, but uh, it's better. It's, you know, Denver. Yeah, be, Denver is, uh, you know, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a city. It's got a lot of people around. There's, uh, it's got cool vibe going on, and uh, it's no crazy, uh, no crazy fires there, and the weather's better, and uh, and so yeah, so uh, good for BG. And uh, ooh, people are. St yeah, remember that? Remember that song? You know, I'm not gonna nip that. A lot of cool stuff in Jim. I love her madly. That was always my favorite. Do you love her madly? I do. Even on wheels, they shut down the forest. Yes, a lot of forests are getting shut down because of the heat and the, the, hum the humidity and the fires. Uh, where we got uh, enjoy, enjoy the journey life uh, there, Tom and... Oh, gosh, I can't remember her name. I need to write these couples' names down because I just can't remember them. Uh, they're in... Uh, they have, uh, you know, some tire issues and stuff like that anyway. But they're in Utah having a good time. Uh, oh, 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 we got Less Junk, More Journey. Guess what? Less Junk, More Journey. They uh, got this big uh, crazy vacation going on in Hawaii uh, for nine weeks. And, of course, they were on Patreon kind of hinting, uh, would you like to help us help fund our vacation? You know what? They are now, they have now rented a, a van and they are living in the van. So they are doing van dwelling there in Hawaii. They've actually got a van. And so I, maybe it was because a lot of people were kind of complaining like, hey, we subscribe to you because you guys are on the road and all that other stuff. And now they have decided in Hawaii to get on the road in a van. So, uh, so there, they're driving. I said that. I said, hey, we'd like to know what a uh, van dwelling would be like in Hawaii. You know, that would be kind of cool. So uh, that's what they did. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get a good shot of the van shot of it. So there's uh, there's uh, Nate. Nate and Marissa. The first night in the camper man in Maui. Maui there. How to RV in Hawaii. Now that's what, now that's content, okay? If you're just going to Hawaii for vacation, eh, but if you're, I've always wanted to see what it would be like to, you know, to uh, live, you know, RV or van around parts of Hawaii. So that's really cool. I'm glad they're doing that and uh, I'm going to start being, and start enjoying their channel again, instead of just feeling jealous. So Nate and Marissa in a van in Hawaii, what it's like, you know, uh, in Maui, yeah. Anyway, with the two kids, so this should be fun. Finally, they finally decided, you know, how are we going to fix our little mistake here of going to Hawaii and just doing a vacation because who cares? But no, we're going to get a van. Good idea, Nate and Marissa. Good idea. That's what uh, 30 and a wake up ought to do, you know. Uh, Get on a motorcycle or something, you know, and, and travel around Hawaii. You know, go all over. Fly to island, island, and island, and do all that stuff. <laughs> Sit there in a luxury hotel room all the time. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, what else do we got here, huh? We got a new one from Dave2D. Mm, I'm, I'm not going to even mention this one. He did two videos yesterday, you know. 
Uh, they both went viral. No, they didn't. <laughs> when did we get 1.7 thousand views? I don't know, man. I don't know. We need to check up on uh, uh, Dave again. Dave is sitting there with so much potential content yeah, there at his. Uh, Rob, Rob, be quiet. I'm trying to talk here. He's he's Dave's there sitting there with potential. He's got that house. Fix up the house. Beautiful Upper Peninsula, Michigan. He doesn't even have to go that far for some cool traveling. He's got the. He still has the Bronco, right? He's got the new catalytic converter on it. Go do some traveling up there and do you sit there behind a green. All he does now is sit there with a green screen and and you know show us women's. Bazungas, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess that's that's what he what he thinks about all. I mean, I don't know. He needs to, to get out there. You 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 can get out and drive your Bronco around, play with the dog in the woods there up in the beautiful northern Michigan. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, what is Rob doing, clickbait wise? Oh my goodness! Arrested, thrown in jail, and arrested again. And the sheriff said he can't leave. And oh my goodness. Oh wait, these are old videos. Wait a minute. The arrest, you know, he does do better with the arrested videos, doesn't he? Okay, these are the current ones. Busted, jerks won't sell to us. He's actually starting to do a short. Ooh, something new. Scammers took his money, he can't afford to sue them, freaking jerk. Busted, the jerk said no and he has to quit. Okay, that's the latest one, Rob. All right, folks, it is Monday, the 5th of July, which is a federal holiday, so there won't be any mail. The banks are closed, et cetera, et cetera, today, uh, because whenever the 4th of July falls on a Sunday, they make Monday the holiday for at least for the federal workers. But I would assume most regular businesses are probably open today, including DCR, including my website, at, well, and me, Camo Dave. Camo Dave, that's right. Camo Dave channel is always here. We're all, we're all, you know what? I'll tell you something. Uh, I love doing these videos. It's fun. I get up in the, I got up this morning and I said, damn it, I want to do my video. I'm excited. I don't care if it's a holiday or not. I love doing the videos. And as long as that's the case, I'm going to be here for you doing these videos. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Monday and uh, I'll see you later. Alligator vlog under.